The world of cinema has seen many iconic antagonists, from werewolves to zombies, ghouls and aliens. There is one, however, that has stood tall as the most prominent monster, the vampire. Created by Irish author Abraham Stoker, the fantasy take on the exploits of Vlad the Impaler would create one of the most influential characters of all time. A being that survives by feeding on the blood of its victims and granted otherworldly strength and abilities. Of the many classic movie monsters that have been re-envisioned, none have been more prominent. From the very beginning of moving pictures to the modern day blockbuster, the vampire has had an almost constant cinematic presence. So join me as I count down the top 10 vampire movies. For this list, I'll be looking at the very best vampire movies from any time period. I'll be overlooking ensemble movies featuring multiple monsters, as that's a list for another time. So let's begin. Number 10. Arguably the greatest left turn movie of all time, From Dust Till Dawn is a picture of two halves. One, a violent road movie, the second, an all-out vampiric bloodbath. Written by Quentin Tarantino and directed by Robert Rodriguez, the story tells of the Gecko Brothers, two brutal criminals who upon escaping the country find themselves at the Titty Twister Bar. Serving as a trap for passing truckers, the bar is home to a horde of savage vampires. Forced to survive the night, the final act of the movie is nothing but pure horror carnage. Featuring standout effects and a notable bit part performance from FX master Tom Savini, From Dust Till Dawn remains one of the most chaotic and entertaining movies of the 1990s. Number 9 Approaching vampirism from a human perspective, Let the Right One In explores the loneliness incurred with being a vampire. Following a social outcast child who makes an unlikely friendship with an age-old childlike vampire, the true beauty of the movie is to be found in the pure innocent acceptance of the character's peculiarities. Delivering a story of two lost souls whose love grows beyond gender or physical comprehension, the movie masterfully explores the beauty to be found within darkness. Winning over 40 awards and nominated for an Academy Award, Let the Right One In is one of the most beautiful pictures of the 21st century. Number 8 when discussing vampire movies, it's impossible to overlook the Hammer House of Horror. Recognized by many as their greatest example is Horror of Dracula. Producing nine vampire movies between 1958 and 1974, it would be the very first to deliver their definitive interpretation. Starring Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee in their most iconic roles, the movie is a loose retelling of the original novel, only taking liberties to present a more modern approach to the tale. Although seen as campy by modern standards, and not bringing much new to the table, the high-class charm and powerhouse performances from its lead stars were enough to earn the picture mass appeal, to which many agree represents the very best of Hammer Studios. Number 7 An overlooked classic and a brutal take on the modern vampire, Near Dark tells the story of a newly turned vampire and his inability to adapt to his new family. Released at the peak of the 80s vampire revival movement, the picture intended to shake the comedic presentation of its predecessors and delivered a dark western. Starring the late great Bill Paxton and Lance Henriksen as the alpha leaders of the family, the movie would be equal parts horror and crime thriller, delivering high intensity and wicked violence. Also managing to execute an engrossing story, Near Dark has remained a sleeper hit for almost 30 years and is truly deserving of its cult status. Number 6 Seen as one of the greatest directors of the 20th century, Francis Ford Coppola's take on the Dracula novel promised to be the definitive cinematic vision. Starring Gary Oldman, this semi-adaption presented a more romantic approach to the story, focusing more on Dracula's passion to be reunited with his former bride. Featuring solid direction and many impressive practical effects, the movie was seen by some as overproduced, but would ultimately win three academic awards for its exceptional costumes and art direction. And although featuring weak performances from Winona Ryder and Keanu Reeves, Bram Stoker's Dracula still impressed many and became a fan favorite take on the story. Number 5 
From the slew of teen horror in the 1980s, the one to stand the test of time was Joel Schumacher's adaption of The Lost Boys, the story of two brothers who move to a new town that's overrun with vampires. Reinventing the classic monster to suit a modern society, the movie would be aimed for a teenage audience, casting some of the most promising young talent of the time and including a genre-defining soundtrack. Complemented with outstanding practical effects by Greg Cannon, the style and solid storyline would ultimately make for a cult movie. The Lost Boys was a pivotal movie that transformed the timely gothic impression of vampires into pop culture icons. Number 4 A test of any cinephile is an appreciation for silent movies. One of the greatest examples to be found is in 1922's Nosferatu, A Symphony of Horror. Recognized as the first cinematic adaption of Dracula, the movie would immediately cause controversy as no permissions were granted for the commercial rights, changing just enough of the original story to be legally seen as its own narrative. Starring Max Schreck as Count Orlok, the movie would pioneer the use of German Expressionism and create one of the most visually striking motion pictures in cinema history. Also featuring the earliest examples of practical and special effects, Nosferatu is arguably the most important and greatest ever plagiaristic movie. Number 3 Arguably the most criminally overlooked vampire movie of them all is Chenwick Park's Thirst. The tale of a priest who, after surviving a would-be fatal disease, is stricken with vampirism. Embracing his newfound gifts but unable to kill, the reconnection with an old crush allows the priest to give in to his carnal desires, a submission that ultimately feeds the monster within. Torn between faith and his will to survive, upon being responsible for fathering a savage vampire, he is left with no other choice but to submit to his new nature and commit the ultimate sin. Complemented with stunning cinematography and masterful direction, Thirst serves as a darkly beautiful metaphor on the abuse of power. Number 2 It's a rare occasion that a single movie has such an effect on so many generations and cultures. Starring Bela Lugosi and Carlos Velarius as their respective Dracula, the movies were made in unison but managed to showcase individual visions. Although overshadowed by the Lugosi version, Many believe the Velarius version to be the superior picture for its enhanced dialogue and more proficient cinematography. Creating what would be the vampire stereotype aesthetic, it would be Lugosi's Hungarian accent that would become immediately identifiable as vampiric. No matter your preference, Dracula is a timeless movie that's inspired filmmakers for almost a century. If you enjoyed the Meta Top 10s, show your appreciation by hitting the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to keep up with the channel. Also, have you seen future Top 10s and follow Dependent Pictures on Facebook or consider supporting the show on Patreon? Links in the description box below. Number 1 The movie that would define the 90s gothic subculture, Interview with a Vampire is considered by some to be a masterpiece of cinema. Based on the work of the author Ed Rice, the movie follows the life story of Louis, a centuries-old vampire with a tragic history. Following his new birth as a child of the night and his unyielding search for an honorable existence, seamlessly blending horror, romance, opera and drama, the movie would defy convention and successfully evoke sympathy for a monster. Hoping to make a movie equal to Gone with the Wind, producer David Geffen invested $70 million into the movie, an unheard of amount for a vampire picture allowing the creation of one of the most visually stunning pictures of all time. As beautiful as it is harrowing, the multi-award winning interview with the vampire is a must-see movie for any walk of cinema lover.
So that was my list. Were there any I missed? Which vampire movies do you love the most? Leave a comment below, and be sure to check out some other top 10s on screen now. And remember, no list is definitive but the one you make yourself. This is Mike from Demented Pictures saying, May your movies be bloody, and your scares be shitless.